Here we go, more practice problems working on circumference and area of a circle. So since you guys don't have the actual physical worksheets, you're probably going to have to draw them out. Here we have, we're looking for the circumference of each circle. So circumference is pi times diameter or 2 times pi times radius. So here I'm looking for the circumference of this circle. Since I know the radius is 14, I'm going to use this formula. So C is equal to 2 times pi. My radius is 14, so I'm going to put 14. So 2 times pi times 14. So 2 times pi, 3.14. So 2 times 3.14 times 14 is going to give us the distance around our circle. So my circumference is 87 and 92 hundredths inches. Okay, diameter goes all the way across. Remember radius is half of it, which is why it would be 2 times the radius is the same as the diameter. So that's why we have the two different equations. So we have diameter this time. So I'm going to use pi times diameter. So pi times the diameter gives me the distance around the shape. Pi, we're going to utilize 3.14. The diameter is 30 and 2 tenths. Multiply, and we come up with 94 and 828 thousandths. So, and I forgot that our directions ask us to round to the tenth, so that's our tenths place value. So we look to the right, and we keep our answers 94 and 8 tenths centimeters. So this one would actually stay 87 and 9 tenths inches. Okay, practicing two more. Here we have the circumference again, and we're given the diameter. Since I have my diameter, it's going to be pi times the diameter. Pi is 3.14 multiplied by the diameter 16.8 and when we multiply 3.14 times 16 and 8 tenths we come up with 52.752 or 52 and 752 hundredths thousand sorry Round it to the tenths place value, we look to the right. 52 and 8 tenths centimeters. Looking at another example, again we have the diameter. So the diameter is 26. I want the distance around the circumference of my circle. Circumference is pi times diameter. Substitute the numbers, pi's value, 3.14 times the diameter. Our diameter from edge to edge is 26. 3.14 times 26 gives us a circumference of 81 and 64 hundredths. Rounding to the tenths, we look to the right. Our circumference is 81 and six tenths centimeters. So even without a picture, if they give us the known radius or the known diameter, we can still find the circumference. So here it says radius is 12, so I know R is going to equal 12. Since I know my radius, I'm going to use the other formula, 2 times pi times radius. Or I could have multiplied this by 2 to get the diameter and used my other formula. Substitute 
the value for pi times the radius 2 times 3.14 times 12, 75 and 36 hundredths, rounding to the tenths place value. We can see we can round it up, so the circumference is 75 and 4 tenths, and that is yards. And then for number eight, we have a radius of five and five tenths miles. Since we know the radius is 5.5, two times pi times radius. So I'm gonna take two, the value of pi, 3.14, that we're gonna use, times the radius, and the radius is 5.5. So multiply those out. We get 34 and 54 hundredths, rounding to the nearest tenth. So that gives us 34 and 5 tenths miles.